$250,000. That's how much the owner of a Florida amusement park ride will have to pay following the death of a St. Louis teenager, Tyree Sampson. Good evening, I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Ann Allred. New tonight, our Brent Solomon has reaction from the attorney representing Tyree's mother. Brent? Well, Tyree's family has been vocal since day one. They want to see change and accountability. Today's news steps in the right direction, although their attorneys say their fight is just getting started. We won't soon forget the face of 14-year-old City Garden Montessori student Tyree Sampson, also known as Big Tick. In March, he fell to his death on a theme park ride while vacationing in Florida. Today, my department issued an administrative complaint alleging multiple violations of Florida law. The state is now imposing a $250,000 fine against the Slingshot Group. That's the company that owned the free fall ride. Officials say the harness that was supposed to secure Samson had been altered. The ride was allowed to commence even though the ride was unsafe and led directly to his fall. We are happy that something is being done. Kim Wald represents Tyree's mother, Nakia Dodd, who lives in St. Louis. Of course, the money of that fine absolutely pales in comparison to the tragedy and the anguish and, and it never will be able to fully compensate the family by any means. But she tells me the family is glad to see this case being taken seriously. It does tell companies, it tells entities, if you are going to be operating a ride like this in Florida, there are repercussions. You are going to be held accountable. The family now wants to see new laws to ensure that. Tuesday, a Florida lawmaker saying she plans on making that proposal. And when the millions of people who visit Florida come to this state, we want them to know that there is oversight, that there is accountability. In hopes of peace of mind for parents. You can send your kid to an amusement park and not have the fear that something as horrific and awful and, and just horrifying like this would happen. The proposal will be called the Tyree Sampson Law, requiring routine inspections of theme park rides, more training, and pop-up visits to make sure they're following the rules. Florida, by the way, is also revoking the Slingshot Group from ever being able to operate the free fall ride.